A welcome, Waffle Warfets, to one of my most favouritest games of all time from the PlayStation 2 era, Destroy All Humans, but this time on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. And if not, as always, you know what to do. Drop me a comment below and I will do my best to cheer you up. Now, uh, about a week ago, I uploaded an unboxing video for the collector's edition of this game. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend watching that video because the collector's edition for this game is very, very nice and there are some very unique items in the collector's edition. One of those items being this bad boy right here. Let me bring it closer to you. Lovely, ain't it? This is a crypto stress ball. One of the most unique items I've probably gotten from a collector's edition, but this bad boy is definitely gonna get a lot of use because if you saw the PlayStation 5 reveal event back in June where they showed off a bunch of games, they announced that um, Demon Souls was being re remade for the PlayStation 5. And I know for a fact that there was a bunch of bosses in that game that drove me insane. So this is definitely going to get a lot of use when I play that game. <laughs> I'm just checking if there is any difficulty options because I think this game doesn't have any difficulty options. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a hard mode or anything so we're just going to be playing through it on normal I guess. Let's quickly make sure the subtitles, yep, subtitles are on, lovely. Right, now I tell you, this game, if you're in, if you're in a bad mood or you're upset this game right here will cheer you up because this game is very, 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 very heavy on the comedy. So uh, if you're having a rough time, you're definitely going to enjoy this game. <laughs> so let's get straight into it. Humans of planet Earth, be advised, while the experience has been upgraded, the content and historical record of the original invasion of the Furons remains a near identical clone. The story, words and images contained within may be shocking to the modern human brain. Okay, flipping out, I had to read that quick. Hello friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby. Show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! 
I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto-136, to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. Okay, new mission. Yeah, so this is pretty much the tutorial mission where they just learn you about the controls and all that kind of stuff. I tell ya, those cutscenes from what I remember on the PlayStation 2, they are looking gorgeous. I haven't actually played this game yet because I've been focusing on Ghost of Tsushima, so this is going to be, well, it's not really a blind playthrough because I played the hell out of this game on the PlayStation 2, but it has been a good light. About 15 years, I think, since I played this. So uh, there are some things I would have forgotten. But yeah, this is going to be a somewhat blind playthrough. But did you hear Crypto's voice? Crypto sounds a lot like Jack Nicholson, I think his name is. You know, the dude from uh, The Shining. And uh, as good as it gets, you know. Jack Nicholson, I think that's his name. But it sounds a lot like him, doesn't it, Crypto? He sounds... A, I, I, don't, I don't think Jack Nicholson is the voice actor. Maybe he is, but he sounds a lot like him. Uh, something I want to show you quickly, one of the items I did get from the Collector's Edition, uh, I, I don't know if you can get it in any of the other editions, you might be able to, but this bad boy over here, you can actually change Crypto's skin. I think you could also unlock a few skins as well, which uh, might be from just playing the game, but some of these bloody skins look amazing. Oh my god, look at that! Yeah, that's going to be like... It looks like Pennywise, doesn't it? Oh my god, these are terrifying. Ah, oh, these, yeah, these ones must be from doing challenges. Complete all optional mission goals in Mission 3 to unlock this skin. Yeah, there's a lot of different skins to unlock. Classic Crypto. I don't know what to do. I think we should probably pick this one. This one looks pretty damn cool. Yeah, I think we're going to use this one. This one looks well cool, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. If you want me to pick any of the other ones, let me know in the comments and I'll do it in the uh, one of the next videos. Right, let's get straight into it.
portal box to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul smelling gas bags beyond the fence? Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! Crypto, do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! Oh, brilliant. <laughs> but they're covered in nipples. <laughs> God damn, look how beautiful this game is. Like, I haven't actually seen any of the gameplay from this game. I think I saw the announcement trailer probably like a year or so ago, but I don't think I've seen any of the gameplay for this. This looks ridiculous. Damn, I thought this would have been a pretty budget kind of remake, you know, where it's done pretty well, but also done pretty half-assed. But this looks like it's been done brilliantly. Look at this. It almost looks as beautiful as Ghost of Tsushima. God, look at the grass and all the flowers and stuff. That is beautiful. I do like this skin for Crypto, though. That is a cool skin, ain't it? It looks like a right little badass now. Because if I think if I remember correctly, there is a joke that plays out a lot through this game where... All of the authorities, like the military, the police, the KGB agents, stuff like that. They always refer to uh, Crypto as a little green alien. And obviously Crypto is like a bluey grey, isn't he? So he always gets really angry about it. But I've actually made him green now, so when they say it, he can't argue with it. Because <laughs> he's actually green now. Right, reach the cow paddock. There is a lot of stuff on the screen, isn't there? That flipping, that, that uh, radar is pretty damn big, actually. I wish I could make that a bit smaller. Right, let's go and see what we're going to be doing then. Man, I can't get over how beautiful this looks. This looks absolutely stunning. I didn't think it would look this beautiful. Man, good job. I think the, the creators of this game were Black Forest Games, because I think they've got a cool wolf logo. That's why I remember their name. I think it's Black Forest Games, and obviously the publisher is THQ Nordic. THQ Nordic have, Nordic have been on a roll lately buying up so many IPs, releasing so many like remakes of games people love. They're doing Kingdoms of Amular too, which comes out pretty soon. That was a very good game on the PS3 that was very, very underrated. If you never played that, definitely give it a play. They released Spongebob recently, but you all know I'm not a fan of Spongebob, but I'm sure many people love that. This is a game that I think is a cult classic. There's got to be a lot of people that love this. I think it was third in the chart in England, so it must have done well. I'm talking too much, I do apologise. We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. Yeah, I think you can scan their brains to get information. Because I think sometimes you have to scan like military personnel's brain and stuff like that just to get information. <clears throat> but yeah, you're going to collect DNA in this game. And when you collect DNA, like brains and all that... Uh, you use that DNA to upgrade both your UFO and also Crypto's weapons. I think my favourite ability in this game was probably telekinesis. Because when you fully upgraded it and you can pick up stuff like tanks and all that, it was great to just pick up tanks and lob them into each other and stuff like that. It was amazing. I love stuff like that. <laughs> Very fun. This game is fun. It's like Grand Theft Auto in Free Roam where you just run around doing random crap in uh, Grand Theft Auto. It's the same thing with this game where you just run around and shoot people, blow stuff up. I think there's like a wanted level in this game as well if I remember correctly. There's, it's, it's a very fun game to just play in Free Roam as well. You have to make sure I remember the buttons because that's one thing I cannot remember. I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. They eat with their mouths. Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At 
this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. That was bloody disgusting. Alright, also, there are optional objectives you can do in this game. I don't remember if there was option, optional objectives in the uh, PlayStation 2 version, but if you do them, I think you get trophies for it. And you might also unlock yourself a cool skin, so I definitely recommend doing it. And it also makes the game a bit more difficult if you focus on the optional objectives. So we, we need to use... I guess it's telekinesis, ain't it? To kill the cows, and the optional objective is to drown a cow in the lake. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Oops, oh shit, Crypto doesn't like water, I should have mentioned that. Perfect. Am I drowning the cow? Yep, yep, there's a little tick, I drowned the cow in the lake. <laughs> I'm sorry, cow. I don't mean to do this, but, you know, I'm playing as an evil little alien. What do you expect? Okay, so you've got to press R1 and then let go pretty quickly. Or you can hold it for a while, then let go, and then you sort of hold it up in the air for a bit. Any more? Oh, hello. Right, come on, you. Off you go. See you, mate. <laughs> oh, poor cows. Martha, you didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute, that ain't steak. That's holy mother, of Martha! Give me the shotgun. This looks like a job. Martha, give me my shotgun. Yeehaw! Oh, I got me Zappomatic. The Zappomatic is probably my favourite weapon, especially when you upgrade it, because then you're able to have like a really good chain lightning effect, and it will zap between loads of different enemies. It's really cool. Uh, one thing I'm not a fan of, there seems to be a lot of stuff on the screen, doesn't there? A lot of buttons and stuff over the screen. I'm not a fan of that. Right, this is how you extract brains from humans. They don't have to be dead. I think you can do it to living people too, but obviously trying to hold square on a living person that's shooting you can be a bit of a problem sometimes. Harold, come on back. You've got to see this. They got a talking horse on the TV. I ain't never seen nothing like... I'm not green. Ah, yes you are, Crypto. <laughs> yes you are green, mate. I'm sorry, but you are green now, Crypto. I apologise for changing your skin, but you're definitely green now. Well, actually, his skin still is like a grey colour in it, but his armour and his eyes are green. Alright, let's give this a read then. I don't think I have to, but I'll read it anyway. As long as shields have energy, they protect you from harm. A gold showing the current charge appears when the shield isn't fully charged. When you get hit or touch water, shield energy depletes. Some impacts deal more damage than others, obviously. If not damaged further, the, sh if not damaged further, the shield slowly recharges after a few seconds. Yeah, it's just like the basic health bar, you know. When you low on shield, go and hide somewhere so your shield can regenerate. If your shield is down and you start taking damage, then you are going to lose your health. There's no point reading all this. We already know what's up. And I think with the saucer, if I remember correctly, I think you need... Yeah, it says it right here. The saucer also has a shield. To recharge it, use its drain ability on humans or vehicles instead. Yeah, you can like drain the energy from uh, enemies if your shield goes down on your UFO and it doesn't recharge, so... That's something to remember. But with Crypto, it's like a lot of other games. You just hide when you're low on health. Be merciless. Let none survive. Kill the farmhands. Okay. Just checking all the buttons and that. Uh, L1, it looks like, is to change our, um, our weapon by the looks of it. <laughs> Listen to him screaming. But yeah, if you hold triangle on somebody that's alive... Oh no, not triangle, square I mean. What, what, what one is it? Square, yeah, watch. 
Brains are coming out. <laughs> See, you can still do it when they're alive, but I think some of the uh, some of the enemies might still shoot at you whilst you're holding square. So probably isn't a good idea to do it to those ones because they might end up killing you. But yeah, you want to try and collect as much brain energy as you can because, like I mentioned, uh, you use the DNA in this game to upgrade crypto and your spaceship. And this game, I don't remember it being too difficult, but I think there are a couple of missions where things do get do get a little bit more difficult. So you do want to make sure you upgrade crypto as much as you can, especially like his shields and stuff. I think I have a jetpack as well, but I don't think I can use it yet. But you guys are so weak, in you? I suppose they are just a couple of farmhands, though. But when they start bringing the tanks and stuff, that's when you've got to worry. <laughs> Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. What is that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big old crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space time continuum! Oh, the Furonity! Uh, don't worry. Oh, what was that? Kill the farmer's wife using a chicken. Using a chicken? So we got to pick up a chicken and throw it at the farmhand. Alright, we'll do that. Come on, chicken. <laughs> I mean, having a chicken thrown at you full pelt, I don't think that would kill you. I mean, maybe if it was thrown at you full pelt and its beak was like aimed towards your chest or something, maybe that would do some damage, but I don't think a, a chicken would be strong enough to kill you. Uh, I suppose we're going to have to throw this at the woman. Let's see if we can do this. I've only got one shot of this. You only get one shot, so make it count. You might never get this moment again. Oh, fuck. Can I, like, just whack her with it? Don't shoot me a minute, officer. I'm busy. Why, officer? Crypto, my radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer. Oh, I did it. Oh, there we go. For some reason, it was very, very awkward to, like, throw this chicken at her. I think you have to do it instantly. I think you need to, like, press it and then let go. Yeah. If you hold it for too long, you just sort of hold it and leave it hovering there. But if you press R1 and let go quickly, then you throw it. It's a little bit awkward, but you sort of get the hang of it after a while. Let's uh, steal her brain. I think depending on the enemies you kill as well, it will also determine the amount of DNA you get. Because obviously, like, KGB agents... I think KGB agents are in this game. Because there's three games in this series. You've got, um... You've got Destroy All Humans 1, which is... This is a great game. I think Destroy All Humans 2 was even better, which was on the PlayStation 2 as well. And, uh, if I remember correctly, the third one was on PlayStation 3, and that was called Path of the Furon, I think. And that one, I think, it was when Crypto actually managed to get back home. Because uh, I think he was stuck on Earth, apparently, or something. I can't remember. But I'll tell you, if you haven't played all three, play all three. When you're finished with this game, get yourself a PS2. Or I think you can buy Destroy All Humans 2 on the PlayStation Store on PS4. Play that, and then get yourself a PS3 and play Path of the Furon. It is great. It is great. But yeah, I think depending on the enemy's type, you can get more DNA from the more smarter enemies, obviously. Okay, lovely. I was always very bad with the flying saucer. I used to always end up dead a lot. So hopefully I'm a bit better at it now, 15 years later. <laughs> Take a spin in your saucer, crypto. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting. Oh man, this is going to look Destroy beautiful, ain't it? Buildings. Leave no trace. Bomb those monkeys back to the Stone Age. Oh, very nice. This is very nice, isn't it? Look at those explosions. Very cartoony and beautiful, ain't it? Looks a little bit like the explosions in uh, Sunset Overdrive, I think the game was. That game made by Insomniac that was on Xbox. 
Oh, that game looked good. God, I'm getting so much flashbacks to the past, I am. Because uh, w when I first played this, my, my bedroom was being decorated by my mum and dad. Or it might have been just my mum. And uh, I had all of my stuff in my sister's room. So I was literally on the floor, covered in all of my stuff. With a little teeny uh, Sony TV in front of me and my PlayStation 2. Cramped up amongst all this junk playing it and I remember the game ended up glitching on the last mission because I was renting it from one of the video stores like Blockbuster but it wasn't Blockbuster and uh, I ended up buying it after it glitched and then I uh, put in a few cheat codes and got all the way straight to the ending and then finished the game and then I used to just run around in free, mo free roam a lot and just kill everyone. It, I love this game, really love it, it's the humour I love. Move out, man! Move, move, move! I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Open fire! I mean, I've got to be honest with you, Pox. They already know that there is aliens in the area. Because if you saw that cutscene at the beginning of the game, that rocket hit a UFO and then they found my former clone on the floor, Crypto 136. Because I'm Crypto 137. So they already know aliens exist. And even if I do kill all of these troops, there's going to be other military troops that are going to appear and they're going to investigate the area. And they're going to see all of this unknown substance all over the floor from my flipping death ray. So they're going to know that something shady went on in this area. So uh, <laughs> killing them isn't going to do anything for us right now. We should probably just flee the area to save time. Ah, uh, here we go. This is where you can press triangle to absorb energy. Drain a mark target to restore the source of shields. Let me try this then. Do I have to actually aim at them? Oh, oh that's very easy. That's pretty easy. Just got a spam triangle. These tanks have got a very bad aim, didn't they? Mind you, I've got a pretty bad aim as well. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, though, I'm not very good with the... Um, with the UFO, just purely because I always seem to not notice certain enemies that are doing massive damage to me, and I'll start focusing on the wrong enemies sometimes. <laughs> but when I'm playing this crypto, that's when I, I love it. I love playing this crypto. The UFO is fun though, just for like absolutely annihilating tans and stuff. Oh, such a beautiful game, man. Well done, Black Forest Games, if you see this video. Well done. This is a beautiful game. You have done a tremendous job. Visually, it's brilliant. I haven't played enough of it yet to know if everything else holds up well, but so far the voice acting's brilliant, the visuals are brilliant, the gameplay feels pretty good. Uh, using the telekinesis power seems a little bit iffy, but other than that, so far it seems great. So good job so far. Good job, Black Forest Games. And also, you've got a bloody great logo. I think they're from Germany, if I remember correctly. Excellent work, Crypto. Are we done? Yep, looks like we're done. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right, good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Ah, oh, so what do we do? We unlocked Cortex Scan, Psychonesis, Zappomatic. Okay, that's just all the stuff we unlocked. 
uh, new in Poxlab. Uh, these are new upgrades that you can get. But yeah, I definitely recommend upgrading your um, your Zapomatic because it is amazing. Like, there's obviously cool weapons. There's loads of cool weapons, but I love the Zapomatic. It's probably the most boring of all the weapons <laughs> when you when you start unlocking the other weapons. But I love the Zapomatic. I just like electric. It's just fun, ain't it? But yeah, we've got 100% mission complete as well. We did the uh, we did the optional objectives as well. I, I think that might give you some more additional DNA. I'm not too sure. I don't remember if there was any of these optional objectives in the PS2 version. And if there was, I'll probably never bother doing them. But I'll try to do them on the PS4 version just because it makes it a bit more interesting. It makes it a bit more difficult, doesn't it? As there isn't a hard mode, maybe I'll focus on doing bonus objectives and stuff. I think there's going to be one more cutscene. We'll watch that and then I'm going to have to end the video for today. Cattle mutilation pandemic. Oh, God. <laughs> Farmer disappears amidst cow abuse allegations. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. A lot of cow abuse. Right. I think that paper only costs six cents, I think that said. That is a cheap newspaper, bloody hell. Now then. I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Well, lovely. Right, you can't start talking to me now, Pox. I've got to end the video. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf and Wolfettes. Hopefully you've enjoyed this first episode of Destroy All Humans. But I think what I'm going to be doing for the foreseeable future, I think it's going to be Ghost of Tsushima and Destroy All Humans. Then it might be, the next day might be Ghost of Tsushima and maybe Fall Guys, because I plan on playing that game too. Then it might be Ghost of Tsushima, then Destroy All Humans. So Ghost of Tsushima will be every day because that is a very long game and I've still got a lot of that game to play. And I think I'll alternate this and Fall Guys every other day. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing for the foreseeable future. Keep things a bit fresh on the channel because uh, lately I've only been doing one game at a time. Obviously, I did The Last of Us Part 1, then The Last of Us Part 2, then basically only Ghost of Tsushima. And I like to have like two or three games on the go if possible. So, yeah, that's what probably what I'm going to be doing. But, yeah, thanks for watching Wolf of Vets. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.